Mega Mart Best Valley by far. Get more with your membership card. Mega Mart Best Valley by far. Remember, your membership always matters. Our buys we go in harder. Savings coming at you faster. And you know our price is smarter. Make essentials giving you broader. Make a man make your money stretch further. Welcome to another episode of the Mega Mart Shopping Show. Today we have a very special guest, Natalie Murray. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. How are you? Fine, thanks. Awesome today. We're so happy to have her. She'll be sharing with us some really great recipes from her book, A Taste of Open. Okay. So talk to us. What are you making today? So we're going to start off with, well, everything that we're doing today is natural ingredients. So I'm a strong believer in going as natural as possible. Mm -hmm. No chemicals, very limited processed foods. So we're starting off with a delicious gluten-free pancake recipe. So nice. it's all, all natural ingredients. Yep. Bananas, coconut flour, mm -hmm. very simple, easy to, I think you even commented when you saw the recipe, like this is so super easy. easy. And I love banana. <coughs> oh, What's up? Uh, uh, <laughs> you are late, Chris. Uh, uh, You're late. You told me the wrong time. You know, I have a feeling you want to get rid of me when these cooking shows are happening. You know? Good, 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 good. Hello. <laughs> this is How Natalie. Hi, Natalie. I'm Christopher. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Nice, nice to meet you. To meet you. <laughs> and thank you for coming here. Uh, despite uh, me being misinformed about I the wasn't, time. I did not misinform you. I was just trying to oh, you want to get rid of me. sufficient food. You know, I'm the taste I hear and I always help out in the kitchen. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay. But, Ms. Dutton, we're happy to have you help us. What is going on? Please come center and let's talk about <laughs> what's going on here this morning. Uh, so, so this looks great, by the way. What are we looking after today? We're going to make coconut banana pancakes. That yes. sounds good. How does that sound? He loves banana, banana pancakes. Awesome. Well, you can help. You want to help? Of course. Beautiful. So you can help with the bananas. All right. So what we need here is um, two bananas. Right. I need you just to help me peel them. Sure. There you go. Uh, what is Slice them up. Oh, you want them sliced up? Yeah, Great. we're going to put them in this little bowl and then we're going to squish them up. All right, let me get that. I'll get one while you I get one. I love this because usually when you have bananas at home that start to go a little brown, you know, the first thing you think of making is probably banana fritters. Right. right. Or uh, banana bread. I love to make banana bread, but this is super simple. I actually taught my kids how to make banana fritters recently. Really? Yeah. And they love it, right? They love it. I think Jamaicans on a whole love bananas. Yeah. They're super affordable. You know, there's a there's there's definitely a set of population that love their bananas. Yeah, and well, it's great because they're full of potassium. That's right. Full of potassium. Gives you so energy. You're gonna use that fork now and smoosh up those bananas. Okay. And okay. Kimberly, what you're gonna do for me too I is we're that. gonna We're gonna, gonna add eggs. Two of these eggs. See Kim, I'm I'm you see you why you I'm, I'm useful. <laughs> I'm doing stuff here, man. And then we're also going to use just a quarter cup because uh, coconut flour is very thick. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start with just a quarter cup and okay. see how we go of the coconut flour. Kim, okay, you bring that fork, you know? <laughs> that was not me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get a bowl for you to um, break the eggs in. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. So, Kim, you see? I'm doing this. Squishing, but you're putting the bananas everywhere, so, so, Christopher. She's the author of this book? Kim? Yes. So the name of the book is A Taste of Open. Right. And they're just really healthy recipes okay and it's about living healthy right so, living so, healthy yeah so, so you are also a nutritionist or specialist? uh no i've studied integrative nutrition but what i am is a health coach so okay. i help people make sustainable lifestyle changes oh, lifestyle right. choices towards a better and i mean healthier feel better so living. say i wanted to improve my health through my eating sorry kim i, I could come to you and then you could help mm -hmm. me with that yep as well as mindset, as well as exercise. I'll take that from you. Okay, so just Thank one you. or two? Two eggs. Okay. All and right, then how am I doing here? That looks awesome. All that right. looks very good with your teeny tiny little out. fork. I'm telling you, I've been, <laughs> yeah, I'm working hard. I'm working hard. <laughs> right. And then, Kim, you can add the eggs into that. Okay. So just yeah. pour those eggs in, and then you're doing such a great job, Chris. You could just keep just mixing. Keep going. Yeah, right, man, I'll just keep, keep mixing. mixing. Uh, should I use that mixer now or, or no? You could use the mixer now, yeah. Yeah, Kim, okay, see? Might want to switch over to the mixer. There you go. Thank you for the small fork. You know what's going on? 
You got there it going go. on. Yeah. All right, Kim, so you're going to measure out um, about a quarter cup of that coconut flour. Yeah. And you'll hear me do that quite a bit about, because even though we follow recipes, I like people to get the feel of their cooking. Right. You know, so if it says a half cup and half cup look too much, then drop it down a little bit. Like, yeah. This is really a good brand as well, um, yeah. I should point out. Uh, trusted. And people really kind of have measuring, I mean, not just like these, but really have measuring devices in their kitchen. They kind of just judge it, like wing it, yeah. you know what I mean? We're adding half adding cup. Go with a quarter, quarter cup first. Okay. Unless you're baking. Right. Baking has to be precise. precise right. When we're cooking, I, f I like to cook with a little feel. Mm, that smells yeah. really good, actually. Yeah, it smells good. I smell the coconut. Thank you. That's yeah. my handiwork right there. Sure. Okay. And Kim, give me about a half teaspoon or a quarter teaspoon of that baking powder. Okay. Because that's going to make it, yeah, that's what's going to make it fluffy. Mm. Looking good there. Yeah, yeah you're going to need a little more coconut flour. Coconut flour. Yeah. So there now you're going to make sure that gets all mixed all in. All mixed yeah. up in. Oh, man, we need Just to stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. And stir it up. So then I, I'm guessing it's dependent on the size of the bananas that you use. Yeah. Because then the moisture yeah. content from the banana yeah. is going to really help exactly. me. All right. Boy, Miss Kim Yoga, you're going to have to work this fancy griddle. So it needs to be squished <laughs> up, squish, squishy or this is looking I good. like it lumpy. All right. That's if you okay. got funny kids, they may want to, you may want to put it in the blender so that it's smooth. Smooth, right. But I like it lumpy. Yeah, because banana bread is supposed to be kind of, you know. OK, you're on, you're on grill duty. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there we go. Real duty. So I, when I'm cooking, I love to use uh, coconut oil. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which, as you can tell, will get a little hard in cooler environments. Yeah, right? cooler temperatures. But coconut oil is such a great product. You know what I mean? And, and I'm happy that people are using it so much again because and it was I, a time when we were being discouraged <laughs> to use coconut oil. I think that will that will enhance the flavor of the coconut flour as well in the pancakes. Yeah, man, for sure. It smells so good. It smells good it already, right? right? Yeah. yeah. All right, so how am I looking here? Am I looking That's good? beautiful. All right, okay. so we're going to get a dollop so of that over. on this. All right. So is this ready? Is this ready to go on the grill? This is ready to go on the grill, yeah. Wow. There you go. How so you hang on to this. All right, I'll hold uh, I'm going to, it's just going to, okay, there we go. There we go. Thank you. So we're going to make one nice big one here in the middle. Uh -huh. Yeah, beautiful. And then we're going to make it look like a pancake by rounding it out a little. Okay. Right. And less like a fritter. Look at my handiwork. <laughs> yeah, I feel nice. so accomplished, yeah. So the amazing thing about these pancakes is they've got natural sweetness from the bananas. Right. So everybody's very concerned about adding sugars to foods as they rightly should be, right? right? And then you kind of feel like because it's a pancake, you should actually like add sweetness to it. Yeah, and you don't really need to. I mean, if you've got, again, if you've got kids, kids at home and they want a little bit more sweetness, you could add some blueberries on top. Right. You could even, you know, put the blueberries on the stove top, boil it down a little and let it thicken up a little. To create a natural sauce. Yeah, to create a natural sauce. Yeah. So nice. So it's sweet already, you don't need to add too much sweet to it to get it even. You know, we love sweet in Jamaica, right? Right, we love sweet. sweet. If you use ripe, really ripe bananas, then it's gonna be it's extra, extra sweet. sweet yeah. yeah. All right, so how, I mean, about how long would this take? The process of, of you have to kind of watch it, right? So every every stove is different, and we're using a grill here, so it's a little <laughs> bit different too. Yeah. Right. So what we want to be looking for is some bubbling on top, right. or the bottom kind of holding together. This is looking flippable soon. soon. Okay. Right. Soon. So your your stove at home naturally will be giving you perhaps more heat. Yeah, man. We'd have flipped this. We'd have flipped this a while ago. We'd probably flipped this a long yeah. time ago. But while I'm doing this, do you want to start on the smoothie because we can drink a smoothie Definitely. with our breakfast? Sure. So we're doing Beautiful. smoothies. We're and it we, is smoothies. We cook it. Listen, <laughs> we're doing three recipes today, so. I don't want me to miss three recipes. I don't recipes. want to miss anything. Listen, Kim, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get me out of this thing, right? All okay. products, uh, as usual, uh, we're taking from Omega Man Shell. Yeah, right? man. So I'm excited about it. What kind of smoothie so are we making? So we're making? going with a green smoothie. How does that sound to you, Chris? He's not too fascinated by the word green. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let me be totally honest, right? I'm not fascinated with green smoothies because. They tend to just not, they don't, they don't taste nice It to tastes me. green. All right. right. And, and I like to, to like what I'm eating. You know what I mean? I think, I hope, <laughs> you're going to like this one. <laughs> Let me but I want you to be honest. All right. I so here's what you're going to do. You've proven yourself to be an excellent banana peeler. <laughs> so go ahead and peel one of those That's bananas for me. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I do like bananas. I don't so know yeah. where you, you took your mind a while yeah. ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, so peeling. we're going 
banana. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go pak choy, because everything, again, I want this to be easy and simple for people to be able to get their ingredients. Right. That, that, that's almost done, there you go. We don't need you, to chop this up, right? No, you can just water. throw it in. Yeah, okay. I can throw it in, we're gonna blend. All right, just take a little bit of the, like a pinch, a handful, not a massive bear grab handful, but just right. good amount of that pak choy goes in there. one or two bananas in here. You could go with the one you for now, one? yeah. I like, you yeah. know, anyway, I wanna make it sweet. So we're gonna go with a pinch. And a little more. A little more. About four pinches like that. About four. <laughs> yeah, those are some small. I, I didn't want to say handful and you got a whole I'm going to be honest bowl. with that. Keep I, going. The, the, more Keep green, going. the more green you put in there, I'm Keep like, Keep going. Ah, one ah, more. Ah. Even one more just like that. One more like this. Beautiful. So we've there got our go. greens on our banana. Now you're going to yeah. pour some coconut milk in there. Use, coconut I want you to use milk. the measuring cup this time. Go with a half cup for me. Okay, and this is, this is this is your like real coconut milk, right? Yeah, man, real All coconut. Right, milk. Real coconut milk, and how much? A half, a cup. half cup. Half cup. Yeah. So is this right, Kim? Yes. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay, so we're using a half cup full. Yes, thank you. There we go, and I'm Great. pouring now. And then add another like some water. Some water. Some water. Some what is some? What is some? Yeah, to measure it. Some. <laughs> go with like a cup. So Stop you. Yeah. Some. There's a sum and a little more. more. A little more. Give me one more left. A tops. One more. You know, can you measure a tops? I like know how to measure a tops. You know how to measure a tops? Yeah, that's, man. That's, that's, that's fine. All right, use that same. Pour all of that water all in there. All of that water in there. Now use that same scoop and give me a scoop of blueberries. In there. A okay. scoop of blueberries. Yeah. All and right. these are frozen blueberries. Those yes. are frozen blueberries. But if you had fresh taste blueberries, so much better with frozen. with frozen stuff. But you can, if you have fresh, yeah. you could always freeze them. And you could freeze your bananas. Right. So, you know, sometimes we were making this joke the bananas are not ripe, not ripe, not ripe. Boom! Too ripe. Too ripe. <laughs> So if they go too ripe, then yeah. you can always peel them, stick them in the freezer, and right. use them in your smoothies. Oh, we All flipped right. our pancake, and we that is beautiful. We Do we need more blueberries, pancake. or this is fine? No, that's wow. great. All right, so so now give me a tablespoon of those chia seeds, and that's where... Chia seeds. Yeah, man, this is a vegan shake. So we're using, that's a nice, great source of protein. Chia seeds. Chia seeds. Right. Great source of protein. And, and these are protein is good for building the body up, right? Muscles. Muscles. And, you know, your hair and keeping your hair shiny. Yeah. Keeping your hair shiny. Yeah. Oh. Just try, try all that to do that. All right. Find <laughs> so uh, use a tablespoon and throw in there a for table, me. A table. Can you find that for me? You, you know, I got. You know, you know, you know, you know, mathematics is my 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 soap. I don't like. Tablespoon is mathematics. Yeah, it's mathematics. Oh. The biggest one. Okay. Biggest, the, all right. You, you, you big, see, you big don't one. Even know. I'm I'm getting to it. <laughs> so take one. One tablespoon. Just go for right. the big one. Okay. Two big ones. No, just and give me one, because it's chia seeds have a way of thickening things. Right, okay. So if you make the smoothie, it will be a little put it thick. down and come back a little later, it's going to be like um really, really thick. It's got yeah, hard, like yogurt. I think it kinda works like cinnamon. I learned something about there it. There you go. There you go. Chia seeds. So the pancakes look pancakes are ready? Lovely. It's ready. Pancake is ready. So, oh. Let me get a plate for I you. I warmed over up some here. blueberries for you too. Oh, thank you. I've never done that before. Let me see. So you just actually use the blueberries. Yep. From um, from the back here. Yes, sir. And you're warming them up, and it gives off. And then you get a little bit of a little, a little bit, of, bit of liquid. Yeah, you Look get a little bit that. of liquid. Mm. Nice. A little bit of sweetness, natural sweetness, which is what we want to go for. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna go. There we go. That looks nice. So this is a banana pancake. Yep. Banana coconut pancake. Banana coconut pancake. Gluten free. That is Gluten free. Gorgeous, guys. Look that at that. That is nice. Come on. Yeah. Um, and it's quickly, easily done. Yeah. Quick, easy. It smells I'm great. Practicing my plating yeah, skills. Plat yeah, there you go. Plate and and if we were doing this at home for you, Chris, we'd have maybe a stack of about three or four of those. Because yeah. You know, you mean yeah. Like, yeah. You mean more. like five or ten? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not so much. But. <laughs> and for the non vegans, you could. You know, fry an egg. Right. Not too much butter or oil or anything, just kind of very light right. in a non stick pan, maybe. Yeah. You could add to that for a very complete breakfast. Mm. So, you want to give it a try? I am going to give that a try for sure. Uh, let me hold on. Let me, let me get this fork right here. Yeah. That looks lovely. I don't know. It, yeah, no. I did all the work, guys. Oh, that's super I did all the work. Day. I'm telling you. It is nice. It looks nice. <laughs> it's good. Mm -hmm. That coconut flavor is really nice. The coconut right? is nice. And for the vegans that want to up the protein content, you mm -hmm. could actually put a dollop of almond butter or cashew butter yeah. on top of that. Yeah. I could, I could taste that. Yum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. This Yum. is really nice. And Great. it's soft. Yeah. 
The, the blueberries add great flavor to it as well. And lots of antioxidants. Lots of, oh. Yeah, good for the skin. Mm. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Eating healthy, tasting good. Awesome, right? And quick and easy, right? That's my thing. Yeah. If you, yeah. Can, if you can allow me to taste the food and it's nice and it's healthy, that's great. But if it tastes like medicine, Cardboard? Nah, I'm, I'm <laughs> okay. Nobody likes healthy food that tastes like cardboard. So we're having so much fun today with Natalie. And, and of course, you, you, you co-authored this book or you, you wrote this book? Co-author? I love this. Thank uh, it's you. A taste of open, open. people. Yeah. And, and she just showed us this particular meal. It's a coconut banana pancakes. And now... I am, of course, assisting with uh, another one, another great one, right? This is a smoothie. Another great one, yeah. Let's remind them, Natalie, what we put in this. Uh, so in here we've got banana, mm -hmm. pak choy, um, blueberries, right. chia seeds for the protein, and a little coconut milk mm. and water. And, and, and she, she told me, because I don't like uh, green smoothies, she says, you, you're probably going to like this one. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed, all right? I'm keeping my fingers crossed, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I like the pancakes. Uh, I suspect I'm going to like this, too. So here we go. All right. That's looking good. It's looking good? That looks yeah. good. Can stop now? So you see, our green smoothie became a purple smoothie. Oh. That's, that's, that's the blueberries. Oh, the that's blueberries. The blueberries. Yeah. Okay. So it became that's a purple smoothie. Yeah. Which is cool, because then I, it, psychologically, it might be easy for me to if it's not it's green? Because it's, not, it's green. not green. I love these mason jar cups that you guys have here. I Thank saw them. You. They're so They're cute. super cute. Super cute. They've for even everything. Got flowers I know, there. right? I have actually have a, a couple at home. I like them. For your, for your green smoothies? Beer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Green beer. Beautiful. Nice. It's looking good for Beautiful. real. All right, so I am going to try this. How pretty is so that? So this is our, uh, that's nice. <laughs> Look at the colors. So you can actually see everything that you're gonna consume here. Um, mm -hmm. So, what do you think? <laughs> I think you'll like it. Do you think I like this? Brrr, All right, brrr, brrr, I'm gonna be totally honest brrr, right now. You think I'm gonna like this? I think you'll like it. Let me see. Close up on the facial expression. <laughs> you're tasting it. And taste the bananas. Mm. He went back for <gasps> more! Mm. <laughs> This is, this, is, this, is, this is pretty good. This is, this is where you do this. This is tolerable. All right. <laughs> this is tolerable. I can drink this. I it's could drink tolerable. this. Tolerable. Tolerable. You know, because sometimes I drink the green smoothie and it doesn't even pass here. Like, I taste. It will allow it. Yeah. I taste all green. And like, I, can't, this is, I could drink this off. I could drink all of this off. Well, this is good. you know what's really interesting? Your taste buds are trainable. So if you're starting out at tolerable. Right. You're gonna get to, I can't I love live it. without this. Right, right, You'll right. get there. And then You'll you can there. always add things as you go along, right? You can add different fruits and different flavors. And yes, so on. but do you see the ratio that we used? We used a fruit and like one fruit and a nice amount of the greens. Mm -hmm. People have this misconception that if it comes out of a blender, it's good for you. Right. So I have clients coming to me and it's the banana and the blueberry and the, the strawberry and the honey and Lots the oats. And before you know it, I'm like, no, that's, too, like, that's way too much. Too much. Right. You, wouldn't even, you wouldn't sit down and eat that much, right? So keep but, it simple. But you could switch out the greens, for example, for spinach or kale. You could use kale, you could use, um, yeah, spinach is great. Or you lettuce. You know what, lettuce, if you want to start, easy lettuce there's nothing wrong with lettuce yeah let's start with things that you know that you can tolerate and then build up you want to start i want, really want to ask is when when is the right time to start educating our children or even society about foods and a mix of foods and because there's so many people I, we don't learn these type of things in, in schools they from been, they're born it's like hard. just bring them into your way of life <laughs> the earlier the better bring them I into think. your way of life i know but then we have a system where we let our kids out and they go to school and then they're in a different environment and we're not controlled this you, is true you know this they're let true. out and then you this get spoiled true. and that you yeah think, you know yeah it's true but you know what more and more um schools children teachers they're educating on the proper things to eat right so it's becoming a little easier uh, as a matter of fact there's a, a popular high school in the corporate area right. that i go and i talk to them on a friday afternoon about you know things to eat and it's and very that sounds like you should be going to to more than one i'd love I mean, to like, this is the type of thing i think i would we love need to. i think the ministry of health is moving in the right direction with Absolutely. restricting the amount of sugars right. that are allowed at schools and the government kind of the minister of health kind of has the right yeah. idea natalie said something earlier to me when we were talking before the shoot that i found 
quite interesting. Mm -hmm. and we're talking about the deli. Oh, yeah. so yes. Making an observation about. Excuse me. Can you pass one of, one of the salads? salads those please? salads look awesome. Right. So you were talking about those salads. You were yeah. saying they look actually they they, they look really good. good. They look really good. Yeah. And that because of how much it is in terms of the content, it's filling well, as well. But a lot of people in the afternoons when they're going home, they'd probably stop at a fast food restaurant and you know, pick up something you're oily. You hitting on a really great point. People are busy. Right. People don't, and so one thing I'm trying to do with my cookbook is show you that it's quick and easy. But I get that not everybody has a chance to stop off at the supermarket right. and get their stuff. So it's great that you guys are doing this. I mean, these salads look amazing. So let, me, let me open so one of these salads. this is a sunshine salad. Sunshine salad. So if it's a vegan or a vegetarian, there's actually right. no meat in this one. Right, and then you could just, to this, you could, this could feed two people, you know, with a tin of like black eyed peas or black peas. Beans right. and a little garlic, olive oil, this lime is juice. Genuine fast food. Yeah. yeah. And, and this is great. So we Healthy fast for you food. Yeah. Right here at, at the Mega Mart Deli. This is a Mediterranean salad. Okay. So this is a Mediterranean salad right here prepared at Mega Mart right. Deli. And you could just stop by. So that's by. got your feta and your chicken. Right. right. You grab this and you go. I yes. mean, I mean this, is, this is already prepared for you. Yep, and this is our composed salad. So this, this has this a starch. That looks really awesome. good. And that sweet potato salad. So that's my kind of meal right there. Like if I had this, <laughs> I'd be good. Good to you know? go. Yeah. I like these. These, these, are, these look great. These yeah. are great stop off fast foods. So, so folks, what I mean, so Natalie is telling you, I mean, she's great at this. These are great. Yeah. You have them every single day. Freshly and made. Just like our sign says, they're freshly made right here at Mega Mart Deli. Um, and it's important for people to know that yeah. they can come and pick it up and go. And the Absolutely. prices, by the way. Prices are not bad. They're not bad. Really they're, good. All of them are under $1,000 right here. And as Natalie said, they can share for two persons. Yeah. So under 1000 for yeah. two. Yeah. 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 So yeah. we're thinking healthy. Mega Mart Deli is one of the spots you can definitely come and get. So I'm going to yeah. show you now how you can easy, easy, easy make a quick salad at right. home for yourself. Right? All right. Yeah. So, so we have our Mega, Mega Mart Deli Mega salad. Mart <laughs> we're going to show you how to do it yourself. Absolutely. All right. All right, let's cut. You didn't taste this. I, okay. You gotta taste this, right? You're not put making me a look. Oh, it's good. It's more than tolerable. I'm telling you. Remember, I'm not a smoothie guy. Right? It's I'm all not right. That was really good. Yeah. It is nice. I'm just not a smoothie person. So that's a great breakfast on the go. Right. That's a great dinner if you get home too late and you don't feel like cooking. So, so nutritionists say this to me, right? They say um, you shouldn't eat too heavily in the night. Right. Well, why do you get really hungry tonight? Like, I'm, I get hungry. But did you eat enough throughout the day? Like, the last meal would have been like four o'clock. And then you get really hungry. I mean, a so smoothie. Your dinner is at four? Yeah, go home and have a smoothie. Because remember, this has fat in there. You know, we put coconut milk. That's got fat. And what keeps you full is fat, fiber, and protein. This has fat, fiber, and protein. A lot of this is about <laughs> culture, right? Changing our culture, the way we eat. Because, yeah. see, I want. It, at that time when you're hungry, when your stomach is telling you you need to eat something, you want something food. But you see what a lot of people, the mistake a lot of people make is that because they're on a plan and they're on a goal and they want to lose weight, right. they skimp on what they eat throughout the day. Right. So then by the time you get to the evening, yeah, you are because you used up all that energy. Right. But why are you gonna why are you gonna feed up on monster amounts of energy to then go home and to just go into bed and sleep? All you're gonna do is store that energy. Right. And our body stores energy in one way. Not the nice way. <laughs> All right, so you know what? Thanks for that information, by the way. <laughs> Hello! I never tell me to finish it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, get out of here. Yeah? Well, you guys are doing your thing. I'm going to start cooking this okay. fish. I'm supposed to be doing a salad, right? Yes, oh, thank right, right. you. All right, walk me through the salad, please. All right, so this is a real simple salad. Right. We're going with cucumbers, tomatoes. Right. So let me just start right here. Okay. So we're adding some cucumbers. Right, so we're adding some yep. cucumbers. Are we and going with all of this or just some of this? But that's good? Yeah, that's that good. looks good. That, that's right. good. All right. And we're adding Black olives. olives. All of those. Sliced. Yeah. All of it. Just, just throw those just in. Just pour it in, Kim. Just throw those in. Yeah. Tomato, great mm -hmm. source of vitamin C, yeah, lycopene, I mean, good for your eyes. I like eyes. tomatoes, so use a lot for that. Now, this is a, this is a great one, one dish meal for vegans. Mm -hmm. We're using okay. white kidney beans. All right, so mm -hmm. this is vegan, right? Yeah. No meat. Also called cannellini beans. So now cannellini. we're getting into the protein and carbohydrates. Right. Oh, okay. So beans are proteins. Yep. Proteins and carbohydrates. And carbs. Yep. Right. Nice. And black beans. And black I love beans. these. Black beans. I love black yes, beans. Black beans actually taste really nice. Yeah. I like black beans. Right. 
And These then you're going to add in go with your red beans. Okay, red so that was beans. our second bean. Or and we're red adding peas. Our red kidney red beans. Red peas. Yeah. And we're familiar with this for Sunday dinner. Yes. Right? And, and, and colors, they say, is important, right? When you need, you need the colors. It's yeah, man, because you eat with your eyes. Yes, you do. You eat with all of your senses. Yes. I like a little cilantro in there to give it some nice flavor. Mm -hmm. A little kick. Yeah. And all of it? We're adding all of it? You can go with all of that, yeah. Okay. Now, the amazing thing about adding bitter herbs to foods is that bitter herbs are very cleansing. We're talking about the cilantro, parsley. Right. They're going to draw out the heavy metals that your body will build up. Okay. Um, I've been wanting to ask, what is the difference between a cleanse and a detox? Is no, it the same a, that's thing? That's a whole different... That's a that's long... A new show, that's a whole That's show. a whole long... But um, you, you, people are using them interchangeably, mm -hmm. but a detox needs to pull out the toxins out your body. Mm. Okay. Do not use all that garlic. Like, I will not. Yeah, then, then you Nobody will talk cleanse. to Chris <laughs> after that. Maybe I should add all of it. Then we're gonna go. Then we're gonna yeah. go olive oil and the red wine vinegar. And we're adding onions. Oh yes, some onions. Yes. Okay. Thanks. And these are white onions. But if you wanted to add Sorry, red, red onions, onions that, that could onions, work. Yes. Yeah. I'd probably chop them up a little bit finer as well. Well, it's based on your taste. Yeah. Or oh, use both of them. And That's this. called how those were cut was julienne. I love this bowl. This bowl is nice. Is this a Mega Mart bowl? It's a gorgeous Mega Mart this bowl. This is a nice it? wooden bowl and this is from a Gibson, the, the Gibson collection. Nice. How beautiful. Really like nice. This. Yeah. I'll, I'll probably get this. This is nice. Now we're using red wine vinegar instead of balsamic because it's got less sugar. Just give it a little Give, Give it a, a little love. Now. Yeah, a little more. A little more. Nice. Little more. Yeah. There you go. Beautiful. And about the same amount of the olive oil. Olive oil is a great oil to eat raw. Right. Okay. Whereas I love cooking with coconut oil. That fish smells great mm. already. Give me a little more olive oil. A little, a little more. more. Yeah. A little more pizzazz Beautiful. about it. Beautiful, yeah. Now, if it was um, if it was pear season and you had a nice ripe pear, you could oh, slice yeah. that up. Oh, yeah. That's up oh, yeah, man. Yes. Nice. Would that nice. would be lovely. So, see, this is the kind of thing I would eat. So, instead of like maybe a smoothie or too much smooth for me, I'd go with this. You could go so, home and have that for dinner. This yeah. could work for dinner. I'd, I'd have this yeah. for dinner, for sure. So, what kind of fish are we using today? This is snapper. Okay. This is snapper, seasoned up real nice and light. It just, smells great. It's just, um... Black pepper? Just black pepper and garlic salt. And yeah. garlic salt. Yeah. Nice. So, I could have like this and a snapper. That would be you a... could have this and a snapper. It would then cease to be vegan. <laughs> It, it would, would be, be vegetarian. vegetarian. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, I want to thank Natalie Mori, author of A Taste of Open, for being so awesome today because <laughs> we learned quite a bit. Thank you so much. Thank you. And you've, you've finally you know, prepared some, some wonderful meals with plated. So, you ready to taste? Yes, I'm ready. All right, you went for all vegan, right? And of course, Natalie said, yeah, sincere Chris. Looks like you need some. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> some extra protein and everything. So, hey, are you ready? Yes. You go first. Let me see what's going on. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Natalie, let's remind them what's in the salad right here, please. Real simple. Cucumbers, tomatoes, mm. cilantro, which you could swap out for parsley. Mm -hmm. three, three different beans, black beans, white beans, and red beans. Mm -hmm. um, the salad also has onions, mm -hmm. red wine vinegar, garlic, and... Oh yeah, look over there. You know you could have asked me. And there's more, there's more on the grill. Well, she's pescatarian now, not, she, 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 yeah, not vegetarian. She's not pescatarian. That, she's a, I like that. She's a pest pescatarian. <laughs> That's not nice. Huh? You put your just sorry. Here, this is delicious. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed. Where can we find you? How can oh, people find you? NatalieMurray.jm on Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yep. The website is Natalie-Murray. Mm -hmm. And yeah. We're yeah. definitely going to share this recipe and all the recipes today on our social media mm -hmm. pages. So be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Mm Mhm. We had a wonderful show mm -hmm. today. Um, Where can they buy your book? Yeah. Ah, the book is mm -hmm. available on Amazon. Mm -hmm. The link is on my Instagram account, which is nataliemurray.jm. Mm -hmm. uh, or you can DM me. I have a few copies locally. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the crew. I'm looking at the crew. Everybody's like. <laughs> I love it. I'm happy that you're happy. I'm very happy. Happy tummy. Mm -hmm. And all healthy. Yeah? It's mm. good. Easy. The flavor of that vinegar is People, really this nice. is awesome. Mm -mm. So eating healthy doesn't have to be boring, right? Mm -mm. Yeah, do it not today. No, really, really. What is that? What is what? What is that thing over there? Me don't know. <laughs> 
Mega Mart Best Valley by far. Get more with your membership card. Mega Mart Best Valley by far. Remember, your membership always matters. Our buys we go in harder. Savings coming at you faster. And you know our price is smarter. Mega Central's giving you broader. Mega Mart, make your money stretch further.